We won the game, but um, the way the result went out in Bray, obviously we need to score a few more goals, and we didn't do that, so we're disappointed. And did you think um, the, the five clear goals was in us tonight? Um, I think it's in us, but against a decent Dundalk team, I didn't know, you know, in fairness. We had enough chances probably to score that many goals, but um, at the end of the day we didn't, and that's, you know, there's no point in all uh, lifts and buts as well at this stage, so we're disappointed, but like I said, it's not the end of the world, you know, there's, other, there's bigger issues for us to, to, to look at, and that's what we've got to do now. Do you think it might be a bit unfair, unfair that Paddy Baden might take some of the flack tonight? He missed two great chances, and he hadn't scored in, I think, 11 league games before tonight, but he took a goal well and set one up well. I think anybody who's liked Paddy is, you know, obviously doesn't know about football. He's the top scorer we have in the club. He hasn't played a lot in the last 11 weeks and uh, he's had a very good season in his first full season in League of Ireland football at a big club. So if we're going to slag Paddy, well then, you know, I'll be wondering what they've been watching over here. And, and can you pinpoint a, a time in the league this season where we've lost it? Or was it ultimately that night in Terryland Park last Friday? No, I don't think it was in, in Terryland. We, we, you know, we've we haven't beaten Galway here at home. We've dropped points here at home over the season. We, we, you know, we haven't been consistently good enough at the end of the day. And even though we haven't played that well, we've we've only been beaten on goal difference. So that's probably disappointing. But look, at the end of the day, you get what you deserve in football. We didn't we didn't deserve to win the league this year. Um, Rovers deserve to win it. They've been at the top for a long time, and and it's difficult for all Bowers fans. But you know, that's just the way it is. We have to take it on the chin and move on. I mean, goal difference though, that's tough to take. Like, how, how is the dressing room taking that? Um, well, they're not too down in fairness to them t tonight. Um, they're disappointed, but I think probably over the next two or three days it'll sink in probably more with players because it, you know, they're only coming off playing a game and obviously they're disappointed. But I think when they look at it, you know, we now be seeing a league table like that at the moment. So I think when you start to look at it and say, well, you look back and say, well, we just scored there, we would have drew two all last week, we might have won all in ifs and buts. But like I said, it's over the course of a season in the league. It's not you know over one game. I'm just wondering, have you put your finger on it yet? Because we spoke before about um, the lack of goals at home, and mm. that really has cost us this season, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. We, we haven't scored enough goals in the amount, you know, and that comes with the territory when you're perceived to be the best team. team. Teams come and make it difficult for you, and that's something that we've got to get used to, whether, you know, we, if we're still around next season, we've got to try to score a few more goals at home. But OK, we haven't, we haven't done enough, whether it be home or away, to win it, and that's, at the end of the day, that's, that's where it is, and it's hard to take, I know, but that's the facts. I'm just picking up on a couple of comments uh, that you said and on here you said after the Sligo and Galway matches about desire. Mm. There was a little lack of desire in the dressing room. Why was that? Yeah, well, I think it's been a hard, hard year for the players in the dressing room in fairness to them off the pitches, you know, and sometimes that, that can affect people. But we're not going to make any excuses. We didn't, we, didn't, we didn't win the league. And at the end of the day, if you don't win the league, the team that wins it deserves to win it. And, you know, I can't fault the players for any amount of effort since I've been at the club and I won't. You know, I've won some on goal difference and now I've lost one on goal difference. It's hard to take. Uh, you know, last week if you got a draw, you look back at the results and say if, puts and maybes. But, I mean, that's the way it goes. You know, the best team wins the league and it's for Rovers this year. You know, we probably won't go too much into post mortems, but uh, is there any point in the league where you felt you lost, lost it, like, you know, the like off for Pats here, for example, during the summer? Yeah, listen, I mean, you can go back and you look over the course of the three, three games that we lost uh, against Galway, you know, it always comes back and then. But I think last week, if we'd have gotten a draw, we obviously would have won the league tonight. But you know, defensively, we, had, we were getting hammered all year for uh, conceding goals. But yet, we have the best defensive record in, in the in the league. So it's just it's all inputs and maybe's, you know. But uh, you now we congratulate Rovers and, and we move on. And hopefully, you know, we're all here next year. And I think we come back stronger if we are. But. I don't, know, I don't know what way the club is going. I mean, but that must be the ultimately frustrating thing from your point of view because you play in defence, you've had the best defence in the league, but we haven't scored goals here at Daily Mount. That's probably why we lost, is it? Yeah, I mean, you can't go blaming uh, strikers on it. We, we score as a team, we defend as a team, you know, we lose the league as a team, and, you know, there's no way we're going to point the finger at fellas because over the course of the, the season and over the course of last year, them boys were, you know, scoring goals and when we were conceding goals. So, I mean, you think of the games where we lost 3 0. You know, we, we can see the three goals, so it's, it could be defenders, you know, you can blame them, but, you know, there's no way I'm going to put any players, you know, we're, we're in this together and it's just unfortunate we came up short. And how low do you feel at the moment? Because, like, it was obviously a, a big team to do three in a row, wasn't it? Yeah, it's a horrible feeling, you know, it's, you, you're, you're seeing how close you are, you know, to do the three in a row and Percy, you know, an eight-league medal and, you know, at the end of the day, we, we did our best to defend our trophy. We, we defended it for the last two years, and sorry, we won it and then defended it the last year. This year, it would have been nice to defend it again, but we can take pride in the fact that we didn't lose on points. You know, we lost it on goal difference, so if, if anything positive we can take out of it, considering that uh, people said that we had a, a bad season. 
you know, a terrible season, some would say, that uh, we finished level on points, but just lost out of goals. Just one little thing that you're, yourself and Pat commented in the media after the Sligo game and the Galway game, that there was a little bit of a lack of desire there. And is, that the, is that the way you see it overall? Yeah, just, no, last week, you know, uh, uh, personally, I thought it was um, a bit of a... Maybe, maybe we thought we had it done like, and defensively we went right down into it and we conceded three very bad goals and finally would events of tonight uh, make it more determined to maybe you know manage this club to silverware in the future I'd like to you know but I, I want to win another trophy here you know I want to win the league next year and I'm more determined now to come back next year and win another league and hopefully uh, history repeats itself because I've, I've won two in a row and then lost the following year and come back and won it so you know fingers crossed that it happens and I think the, the, the fans and, and the players deserve that you know well, it all depends on the same people in the club and, and what way they want it, the club to go over the next year. We know we need the five goals and all because for the last week we blew it with, uh, with the, the last goal because we can see the last couple of minutes, you know. But we had the strikers on the pitch that get us goals, myself, Raf and uh, Paddy. But um, we missed a couple of chances in the first half, which like, he's only young, but he, he probably learned from it. I missed a couple of myself as well in the second half. But, I said it wasn't the bad thing last week, but it killed all the other. And how did you see the open period of the game? Because I know the crowd thought like when we were creating those chances in the first 15 minutes up to the were there for the taking. Yeah, it was obviously we, we started off great, that's what we wanted. We wanted to throw steam on and get two way the goals and deject them a bit. But um, as the game went on, you can see them getting more and more confidence in the game when we didn't put our chances away. And that's what happens, and it's been hand to us all season. Not just not just for Paddy, but myself as well. Like uh, I missed a few chances myself, and it's it's just not good enough. To be honest with you, you know, um, personally myself should be, get, should be getting more uh, more than eleven goals in the season. But I said tonight wasn't the base. Just uh, it's a bit of perfect swatting, you know. How good is the dressing room at the moment? It, it is low. We I mean, knew it wasn't in our hands tonight, but I, I knew I had a feeling that Bray Bray uh, get a result that row, you know. I knew all week that he would, and. Um, it's just hard to say that we didn't put our chances away because they, as I said, they don't talk about it, but they're taking some I said, I'll go back to last week, the last minute go against the uh, Galway kids and stuff. And, and where to now for this team? I don't know, we haven't got a clue. It's, um, it's been a roller coaster season so far, and as of now, we haven't, you know, so I don't know, because Pastor is going to ring us on next week and see what happens and we take him there, but honestly, I haven't got a clue what's going to happen now because that's why I was disappointed out there tonight because. I don't know what's going to happen. Might be last game of balls, might not. I don't, I don't know. Plus, it might be the last chance to win the league. And it's just, it's, it's hard to take. And I'm not used to losing. And, and balls aren't used to losing like the last two seasons as well. And uh, obviously the fans deserve more because they came out on our numbers last week and they came out on our numbers against TNS. And we let them down. And that's just a hard thing to take. It's been a difficult week to be honest after last week. We've been kind of uh, we very down after the Galway game. Like we kind of knew we had to pick ourselves up and give ourselves a chance coming into this game. We kind of we saw, the, saw the way the table was and if we won and won well, then the, then the chance really could get a result out and Bray could get a result out there. And obviously it, it didn't work out that way, but we had to we had to, to hope something would happen and we, and we did our jobs here. And you yourself can't have expected to play that big a role in the league coming up towards the end. Like You played man the match performances against Rovers and against Pats like, and then you got that unlucky injury against Galway. Like, you, you could never expect it to play that when you're sitting on the bench recently. No, it's a, it's a, it's a funny old game. Like, as I said, I wasn't in the team five weeks ago and then suddenly thrown back in and, and done well and, and, and kept my spot. Like, but then, as I said, it's just for my groin against, against Galway and, and I thought that was me for the week. And then the doc said, we can, we can do something for you. You can stick an injection in. So I said, right, go, go ahead. Like, I think we had a lot of chances, yeah. I think we could have been three or four nil up at half time, but um, I think it's been the story of our season so far. I think we've been missing chances and then, you know what I mean, conceding little goals as well. Like so I think the chances that we had we should have took we should have took them, you know what I mean? And to be fair to Paddy, he's only young, you know what I mean? He'll learn like you know what I mean, you can't blame him for it like that, but chances that are there we should be taking. And where do you think we did lose it this season? It was hardly in one match in Galway though, was it? No, it wasn't. I think the, I don't think we've been consistent enough uh, through the season. I think um, We've been very good in some games and then poor in some games. I don't think we had that consistency throughout the throughout the year. I think if we had had that, we would have we would have won the would have won the league uh, comfortably enough. But no, we didn't we didn't have that. So um, it's disappointing the way we, we, we got back into it. Even though it had been an up and down year, and uh, we had the chance to win it and, and we messed it up last week. But you now we just got to move on now and look to next year. I think that's what did show that there is desire in this team. You know what I mean? And we lost the we lost the league on goal difference. Like, and, you know what I mean? To, to go three in a row, like you know what I mean. Uh, you know what I mean? You look, you look at the big clubs around the world. There's not many that do three leagues in a row, like so. I think the desire was there. Just maybe the consistency wasn't there. You know, this season. Yeah, it's it's you know it's, it's difficult to take. I suppose there's no there's no nice way to to you know to lose the title, but um, 
you know, I think you know, the lads can hold their heads a little bit higher. I think it's, you know, considering the criticism we came under this season, people said we weren't playing well, and you know, we probably didn't play as well as we could. But you know, I think three goals separated us in the end. You know, which is which is very hard to take. But um, you know, all we could do tonight was our job, and we done that. Watching the nerves are gone sitting there. It's easier on the pitch, I think, uh, sitting there watching about and getting the scores through, and it's very difficult to take. And now when you lose on goal difference, you know. And was there a moment when you thought we might actually do it tonight? I think when, when you see them going 1 0 down, you know, and then we scored, um, you start to get a bit of belief, you know, but uh, it's 90 minutes long, they're good, you know, they're a good side, and um, just what, not meant to be, you know. I think the fans really appreciated how you came into your own in the last series of games, and you, you were playing really well up until that injury in Galway. Like, that must have been a huge setback to you, and obviously the team lost that game in the end. Yeah, I think I, I heard the first in a. Uh, against Patson. I was getting away with it, you know, I played against Sligo, I was felt it a bit then and then I just I knew there was a problem with me knee, you know, and then I played against Galway. Probably shouldn't have played but he played and you know I fought my leg and to come off the pitch then and know that you probably could have affected the game a bit more, you know, and watch the game pass your boy is you know it hurts you know. It's hard to take at the moment, you know, uh, obviously winning three one to hear the crowd, you don't know what's going on, you know the crowd in one minute of throw up in arms and it's re it was really hard to take there at the end. Um, I suppose we, could, we probably could have won by five goals tonight, you know, with a couple of chances. And I suppose it wasn't to me. We had too many blips during the season, I think. Do you think some, some criticism this season has been unfair, or do you think it's, it's been deserved because we didn't ultimately win the title? I think a lot of it's been unfair after the TNS game, you know. Everyone expected us to, to go through against TNS, and there was that mentality we, we, we had to beat them. Yes, we, we, we struggled to beat them here 1 0. So now, when everyone thought we'd go away to TNS, and and obviously win and we didn't win and then I think from there on I think we've undeservedly the critics have been on our backs but um, sure, look at, that's what we're, in. we're in this game of professional footballers and we take it we roll on and we've got a brilliant manager in there and brilliant backroom staff and we got on with the game and we got on with it even last week we, we train all week we train Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday to come in to play for this game and also uh, I think the staff deserve a lot of credit and the lads and all the lads that have played over the last three years the credit and, and obviously the fans that have been brilliant. Well, where to now for this Bowes team or even yourself? Um, it's really up in the air. I think we'll meet with the board next week or Pat and I think we go from there. I don't think many of the lads know what they're doing. Um, there's 12 players in contract. I'm not in contract. There's eight, eight or nine out of contract. I'm, not, I'm out of contract. So it just depends what happens. It depends if, they, if you want to offer another contract. It depends what it's going to be. Um, you know, I might be looking for something abroad, like England, Scotland, or whatever. Like so, I just want to—I want to be playing football. I want to be playing full-time full football. And you know, it's going to be difficult, obviously, to leave balls because I've had three brilliant seasons. But um, I sure, have to play me, play me trade somewhere else, and it have to be like you know. Can you, can you, like I know it's hard to say at the moment, but can you pinpoint one time in the season where we kind of we should have won or where we lost it? Even you, you could run through it like. Uh, we all do it as a footballer. You run through, you know, everything basically. Could you have done this? Could you have done that? You know, there's probably a few games. I think Pat's here where we conceded a late equaliser. Probably the last kick of the game. You could say that. Um, Fingal here as well. Uh, we conceded a late one for an equaliser. So you know, there's a, there's there's a few. You know, um, it's just you know, it's, it's disappointing. Obviously, to lose it on goal difference, but. Um, you know, I think obviously last week, you know, I think was it was it was the one, you know. We need to sit down with the club and discuss the future of the club. Like I said, the important thing is the club, not any individual or, or players or managers or anything. It's about making sure that the club's a voice and that it's there's a a good plan within the club, whether about on and off the pitch. Um, that's something that has to happen. Coming into today, was it difficult uh, given the situation yesterday regarding your backroom staff? Yeah, it's always difficult. Look at you know, like you said, we've lost the league title, but a lot of people have lost their jobs tonight, and that's not that's not nice for anybody, you know. So that's what I'm saying. It's there's a lot more to, to life than football. It's disappointing, and um, but you know, there's there's other disappointments over the last couple of days that we have to deal with. And are, are we likely to see uh, the likes of Gary Burke and eight, eighteen players in the in the side next year? I don't know. That's been honest with you. Obviously, they're all up out of contract as well. So. Um, I can't answer that at the moment. Like I said, that's up to the, the, the club to, for us to sit down and discuss where we're going as, as, as a future plan. Um, and that needs to happen obviously quick enough. And how do you feel about the season personally? Um, it's been difficult. It's been up and down. It's been lacking consistency. Um, I'll probably need to sit down and have a real think about it and see, look at, look at the situation now. But it's been hard. There's no doubt about it. It's been hard. Um, 
But neither side, it's been enjoyable at times as well, so it's not all doom and gloom. Uh, uh, thanks, Pat, and I'd like to thank you for being available for post-match interviews all this no evening. Thanks very much. No problem. Cheers. Thanks, thank you.